I survived. That's why I'm here today. <laughs> With cancer being the second leading cause of non-communicable diseases, mortality in Kenya, and the cost of treatment being high, Wangari and Kinyanjui know the pain of treatment too well. I, I didn't know what is chemo, but when I started, I saw it's a very painful uh, session. Kwa sababu, iyo kwe kwandawa for eight good hours, then you go home after three days, you get pain from uh, my waist down one it took almost almost one week that very big pain and uh for meeting chemotherapy isn't as a uh, see you see you see panadol <laughs> and i see drip ya kawaida like um to date i still uh, i'm still struggling with uh digestive issues i'm still struggling with um some nasal discharge but I'm still here. I'm still here. Before Hungary was diagnosed with ovarian cancer, how deal was tough. I could not be able to go for long calls and short calls. To be in a fuller. That's I was wondering what was the problem because I had gone for another operation and I was removed uterus. So there was bleeding. So I was I was wondering why was I bleeding? After going through treatment, she bravely walks and is a beam of hope to many that cancer is not a killer disease. Kinyanjui diagnosed with nasopharynx cancer and having gone through six cycles of chemotherapy and 35 sessions of radiotherapy, he says the ordeal was tough. Because uh, the, I had uh, the radiotherapy, I think, from some place here to the collarbone. Uh, it really affected uh, uh, my my feeding because the throat was completely inflamed the roof, the, the, the roof of the mouth was completely inflamed so i couldn't even feed properly and i had to be inserted with uh, nasogastric tubes at least to have something in my stomach the body just uh, low i lost uh, so much weight i lost so much muscles from a whole 70 to around uh, 53 kgs. Oncologist at HCG CCK Center says prevention is key. One should go for cancer screenings regularly, exercise and maintain a healthy diet. Although when it comes to treatment like radiation, effects can be grave. Uh, when the radiation uh, time goes, I mean one week, two weeks, okay. It depends on the, which site patient is taking treatment. Let's say it's if uh, abdomen, okay of pelvic area, patient uh, may have uh, loose motion, diarrhea, okay? If patient is taking head and neck area, this treatment, okay, maybe mucositis, throat pain, okay? So mostly skin uh, tanning, darkening, okay? But those side effects will go off after he or she complete the therapy after a few days or few months. So once uh, the cancer is cured, a lot of, lot of patients end up with um, side effects like increase in the frequency of urination, bleeding per rectum, okay? So which can last for a long time and which can also uh, make the people very uncomfortable. And again, the cost, like if the patient loses a lot of blood, they have to end up with repeated blood transfusion, even the cancer is cured. So what we practice is a focused treatment, so the, these side effects are very minimal. Wangari and Kinyanjui share messages of hope. Cancer is not a deadly disease. You cannot die because you are told that you have got cancer. Let me say here, now and here, that cancer is not a death sentence. It is not. It's treatable, it's curable. The sentiments have been shared that cancer is not a killer disease and this year's World Cancer Day theme urges everyone to be committed to create a cancer-free world. Harriet Chimea, Switch TV, Nairobi.